Lunch menu. Breakfast is biscuit with sausage gravy and a warm donut. Elementary and middle school lunch, chicken sandwich with baked chips. High school, chicken sandwich or corn dog, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. All right, America. H&R Block has some good news for taxpayers this year. Check this out. For a limited time only, you could get a refund advance loan of up to $3,000 the same day you file at Block. That's right. You could get up to $3,000, no interest. Why wait weeks for your refund when you could get money at Block today? See? Told you it was good news. To learn more or find participating locations near you, visit hrblock.com. Get money faster. Get your taxes won. Optional tax refund related loan from B of I Federal Bank. Not your tax refund. $500, $750, $1,250, or $3,000 loans offered. Approval and loan amount based on expected refund and other conditions. Funds loaded on prepaid card. Tax returns may be e-filed without applying for this loan. Fees for other products or features may apply. Make an appointment by calling our Jessup office at 912-427-7769. Your H&R Block is conveniently located next to Goodwill at Walmart in Jessup. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news. In the news, the government shutdown continues in its third day. Joining us this morning at the World Famous Pitch and Bob Show will be U.S. Congressman Buddy Carter. He'll weigh in and give us his thoughts on how soon the shutdown will end. And that's coming up this morning on the World Famous Pitch and Bob Show between 8 and 8.30. Again, U.S. Congressman Buddy Carter is going to join us live from Washington. Wayne County Emergency Management Agency Conducting an open house today from 5 to 7 p.m. Public invited to come and visit the Emergency Management Agency Operations Center and see what happens behind the storms. This will be a time to see how things operate when our county has an emergency and ask questions about what they do. And that's today from 5 to 7 at the Wayne County Emergency Operations Center, located at 155 North Wayne Street. Look for signs, enter the side door off of Wayne Street. Both the Jessup City Commissioners and the Wayne County Board of Education set to meet on Tuesday. School board meets Tuesday at 6 p.m., at the Tech Center, on the agenda, the discussion about the new track, as the project engineers and Sykes Brothers, who won the bid, will have a representative on hand to answer any questions or concerns regarding the project. Board member Sharon Daniels raised questions at the last board meeting. It was suggested that a rep from the company that won the bid be on hand to go over the project, make certain that everyone's on the same page as to what type of facility will be built, and the representative will be on hand. The board's allocated $1 million towards the new track project. Again, the discussion is set for tomorrow at the board meeting. Other items on the agenda Tuesday, Carol Irvin on the agenda, discuss the recent Students Against Drunk Driving grant. Information will be presented about the Governor's Office of Student Achievement Round 5 grant. December financial report on the agenda, along with an executive session to discuss personnel. All that's set for tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. City of Jessup commissioners meet tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at City Hall. On their agenda will be a resolution for the commissioners to approve the will make the City Commission election staggered terms beginning in November of 2019. Commissioners agreed to the staggered terms beginning with Districts 2, 3, and 6 running for just a two-year term in 2019, with Districts 1, 3, and 5 running for the four-year terms. City expected to sign the resolution tomorrow night, then send it to Atlanta, as the legislature has to pass it to make it law for the city to begin those elections in 2019. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. 
Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Advance Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same day appointments, and walk ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workers' comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years. Feel better today. Other news, WIFOFM can confirm that GBI is conducting an ongoing investigation into the city of Scriven's financial issues as CPA's Chris Harris audit for the year 2013-2014 revealed money missing and commingling of SPLOS funds with the general fund. Harris at the council meeting told the newly elected mayor and council that it's simply not good news and that his suggestion was to simply turn the matter over to the proper authorities. WIFOFM talked with the case agent James Filler on Thursday. He confirms that he's been assigned a case in Scriven here in Wayne County. All that he can say other than that is that it's an ongoing investigation. As to how long these matters take, Filler says there's really no timetable. Any other information from this point forward has to come from his superior with the GBI outside of Kingsland. The purpose of the GBI investigation is to simply find out if any criminal charges are warranted, and if so, against who. No one's commenting about the investigation. City clerk has resigned. Barbara Daniels has been named the new city clerk in Scriven. New elected mayor Jason Weaver says that he and the new council are cooperating fully with the investigation, but they state they cannot comment about the investigation. Only one that's been talking is the former mayor, Melvin Boyette. He told WIFLFM that he doesn't believe anyone took any money. He says the auditor never spoke with him and that a lot of this can be simply explained. Boyette did admit that he took responsibility for the city not conducting an audit over the several years, saying he knew an audit was supposed to be conducted, but unfortunately none were done. Again, we'll continue to follow the story as it develops, but again, at this point, we know that the city of Scriven has turned over the documentation to the GBI. Again, the case agent is James Feller of the GBI. He's been assigned to conduct the investigation. That investigation is ongoing at this time. What, if anything, comes from the investigation? That's the $64,000 question, and we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. First community blood drive is set for this Friday, January 26th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Wayne Memorial Hospital. And you can pre-register for a, an appointment simply Visit their website at redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code Way Memorial Hospital. Again, all blood types are needed. Walk-ins will be welcome. Again, the blood drive is set for this Friday, January 26th from 11 to 5 p.m. at 865 South 1st Street here in Jessup at the Blood Mobile right outside Way Memorial Hospital. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. 
folks. The helpful folks at Harris Ace Hardware says thank you for choosing them as your favorite place to buy hardware and building materials. At Harris Ace Hardware, they've got what you need to get any project done. You'll find great deals on everything to paint a room, clean your home, or take care of your yard. And lumber and building supplies from everything to build a new home to a doghouse. Harris Ace has the names you trust like Clark and Kensington, Craftsman and Scott's, Yeti Coolers, and the helpful advice you need to tackle any task. For the people and brands you can trust, shop at Harris Ace Hardware. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Final notes news, Georgia General Assembly back in session after the snow in Atlanta. Legislators are discussing and planning to renew its search this year for money to extend broadband capability to help business industry and individuals in the rural parts of the state. While President Donald Trump visited Atlanta for the national championship game, he signed an executive order to streamline and expedite requests for local broadband facilities to, among other things, accelerate the deployment and adoption of affordable, reliable, modern, high-speed broadband connections in rural America. Those connections would extend to homes, farms, businesses, manufacturing and production sites, transportation systems. U.S. Representative Buddy Carter said he's glad to see Trump make the investment and that he already has been working with members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee in the Rural Broadband Working Group to increase access. Carter states we've been working to increase access to telemedicine, making sure families have the Internet access they need and ensure small businesses are connected so they're able to thrive and grow. Funding measures in both Washington and Atlanta start with Haas delegates. And again, the county is still pushing for consolidating polling places here in Wayne County. The push is to go from 14 to 7. Seven precincts would be Madger Springs and Odom Precinct would vote at the Odom Rick Center. Oglethorpe Precinct and Red Hill would vote at Red Hill. Reach Precinct would merge with Scriven and vote at the Scriven Community Center. Altima Precinct and VFW would vote at Bennett Union Church. Union Empire would vote at Union Church of God. Mount Pleasant Precinct would emerge with Gardai and vote at Gardai. And Pine Street Precinct and Rec Center Precinct would vote at the Rec Center. Again, the proposals go to 14 to 7. Again, it hasn't been made official, but will be at the next county meeting. Again, that's the proposal at this time. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes away in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, Center for a great day. <laughs> 